So you're at Disneyland with your family, and you've got your small kids there with you. And then suddenly you turn around. They are gone. This is your most horrible nightmare come true. Your kids are lost in Disneyland. It turns out there's several ways that you can help the Disneyland staff get your kids back to you in the park. They want to be able to help you. They want to make sure that your experience is a good one. But there's a lot of tools that you can use to help them out. Help them help you. We're going to help you build some tools to help your kids get back to you in the park. Let's get started. First, you're going to need some Disney stickers. There's a lot of different places to get these. We'll put a list of some of our favorites down in the description for you. You're also going to need markers. Lots of different colors. Make sure that your kid's favorite is included. We'll need our trusty pen and some note cards in order to write on. Make sure you're not using just one. Get a few. You may need to cut them down to size. So we're going to have some scissors and some tape in order to make sure they go together. And then finally, you'll want some type of a bag where the name tag can go sit inside of. This is just an old one that I had from work. You may have one already at home. Don't go spend money if you don't have to on these types of things. Uh, otherwise, we'll put a link to some of these different language holders down inside of the description as well for you. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I recognize my lanyard holder is not the size of an index card. Not tall enough, it's too wide, it's wrong. So I'm going to take two index cards, cut them up, and then tape them together so that they're the right size. Let's make sure we can get that done. First, I'm going to lay out the index cards to see what size they need to be. A little bit of tape to keep everything in place. Then just trim away the extra. One more piece of tape on the back, just in case. Let your kids put the stickers on the page wherever it is that they want. Let it really be their creation. Just make sure to leave a little bit of space at the top because we're going to use it to write some additional words after they're done. Now here we're just using stickers, but your kids can also use crayons, markers, and colored pencils to really make everything come alive and make it their own masterpiece. Next, we're going to take some markers in your kid's favorite color, or colors use more than one, in order to make sure that the front of our card can be seen and read by anyone who happens to come across your lost kid. Now this is important. We're going to write big and bold, am I lost, right up at the top, where anybody can read it. Finally, we're going to use a pen, not a marker, in order to write all of our kids' information and our information on the back of the card. So anybody who finds your kid is able to get a hold of you. I'll make sure to put on my phone number and my name, as well as a spouse's phone number and name, or grandparent or whoever you're traveling with. Make sure you put your child's name on it, just so that the cast member can call them by name. If the cast member takes your child inside to sit down in the shade, it's going to be important that they know, especially if your child has something like a peanut allergy or an egg allergy, to make sure to stay far away from those until they can reach you and reunite you. So there you have it. I have my completed card. I've got my name badge. I'm going to slide it just inside of there. And then, the kids and wear it around their neck everywhere they go and they have their favorite Disney characters everywhere that they want. If the back has any zipper pouches or anything like that, they can put some of their favorite toys inside, maybe some crayons, make sure they don't melt 
uh, maybe some of their favorite crackers or snacks, maybe a Disney gift card. If they're a little bit older and they want to be able to spend their own money, that type of thing can all go inside of here, but make sure this stays on and visible. When you're in the park, teach your kids to look for the cast members. Every single cast member has a cast member badge on. It says cast member, it's an oval and it has some Mickey ears up on the sides. It looks a little bit like this. Make sure that if your kids are lost, they look for the badge and talk to that person. Tell them they're lost. They lost their mom, they lost their daddy, and have them point to their own language. If you teach your kids how to do this every single time you see a cast member, they'll remember it and they'll do it and there will be no freaking out if they end up getting lost. Teach your kids every time you pass a cast member to look for that bag. On one of our recent trips to Disneyland, we took a three-year-old with us. He had never been before and he's never known anything like this. So, what we did is about every hour or two, we found a cast member and we stopped. And we said, hey, look at the name badge. And we got him in on it. What do you look for if you can't find mommy? And he always said, the name tag, the name tag, the name tag. Now, thankfully, we never had an issue with him getting lost. But if he had gotten lost, he would have known exactly who to look for, what to look for, and what to do. There would have been no panic, at least from his side. He would have gone straight to a cast member looked for the name badge to make sure that's who it is and shown him the name tag. The bottom line is that Disney wants your kids to stay safe and for your vacation to be amazing, magic, and memorable, but all for the right reasons, not for the wrong reasons of losing your kid. So they want to go out, they want to help you get all of this stuff done safely and make sure that everything happens exactly like it should. Help them give you that peace of mind with projects like this. Don't panic yourself, parents. Make sure you talk to a cast member if you can't find your kids, because they can all radio back and forth, and they will meet the two of you back up together again. Thanks so much for watching. We really hope that you hit that like button if this is something that you enjoyed or found helpful, and make sure that you subscribe so that we can give you more videos like this that help you plan your kids' trip to Disneyland for you. Let's go ride the teacups.